good morning all uh, today we will see a topic uh, uh, that is known as uh, postnatal examination uh, postnatal is otherwise known as postpartum or puparium uh, so what is puparium so after the delivery of the uh, placenta till the uh, sixth week of duration is known as the postnatal period postpartum or puparium period so uh, the systematic examinations uh, that done during the postnatal period is known as postnatal examination so this examination can be done immediately after the delivery that is known as immediate assessment then uh, later uh, uh, in her daily period if you are doing then it is known as the late postnatal assessment uh, so whenever the mother comes to the hospital for the follow up visit uh, or during the discharge time we can do the postnatal assessment so here postnatal assessment we can uh, give for uh, uh, two types of mother that is one under the vaginal delivery and another one is uh, cesarean section so what is the purpose of postnatal assessment uh, uh, or examination uh, this will helps full to find out the normal uh, status of the women and to find out any uh, problems uh, that is present uh, during the postnatal period and uh, any risk is find out we can go with the uh, preventing the complication of the uh, postnatal mother uh, next we will see uh, we can remember uh, uh, if you see the postnatal assessment there is comes under the general assessment general physical assessment uh, head to uh, toe assessment is there and uh, some uh, specific uh, points we have to remember <coughs> during the postnatal period so that we can remember like uh, uh, one easy method that is known as a bubble he so you can remember like bubble he what is b uh, b is uh, related to breast <coughs> u is related to uterus then next uh, b another b is uh, related to bladder <coughs> then next b is related to bowel then l is related to lochia then next he h for homan sign and e for emotional status so like that you can remember bubble he so for one by one we'll see first one is uh, breast b for breast so here if you see postnatal mother breast is very much essential no the mammary gland which is essential for the lactation that is the only food for the <coughs> newborn so if you see the breast uh, uh, we have to go with examination of the breast what the what is the size of the breast shape of the breast symmetry of the breast and uh, the uh, having any uh, uh, primary areolar is present secondary areolar are present uh, and montbury tubercular are present what is the nipple status whether the nipple is uh, erect or uh, inverted and or whether it is flat and we have to see any crackle that is present in the nipple or not moisturing of the uh, nipple part then next we have to assess uh, the breast uh, whether the breast having any bruishness any itching is there any redness is there any soreness is there and uh, any symptoms of mastitis uh, uh, any uh, engorgement breast engorgement tenderness uh, touch uh, the women will get pain because of the collection of uh, milk in the breast so that is the condition is known as breast engorgement so uh, we can see any abnormalities like a tumor or a benign tech that any mass is there we can find out in the breast so these are the assessment that comes under the breast so as a nursing measures uh, what we can advise the women uh, she have to keep the breast very much clean and in the nipple area also clean if the nipple is inverted uh, can do a massage or with a syringe method divert the nipple and if have any breast engorgement uh, she can massage the breast remove the uh, whatever the milk that is stagnated and uh, uh, hot applications or cabbage leaf like that measures uh, she can keep on the uh, breast and uh, demand feeding whenever the baby is uh, needed she has to feed the baby otherwise stagnance of the milk will be happen and any other uh, uh, infections like uh, uh, process is there we can intimate to the obstetrician so first that is the breast uh, then next one is uterus so uterus is uh, very much important in the uh, postnatal period assessing the uterus so in the assessment of the uterus uh, we have to see how the uterus is whether the uterus is firm firm means contracted whether the uterus is uh, relaxed relaxed or boggy boggy means we can uh, do the massage of the uterus make the uterus contract so that can uh, go with atonicity boggy uterus so that is the one of the assessment second one is how the uh, fundal height uh, that is the involution of uterus can be assessed involution of uterus means uh, 
the uterus uh, may be of 50 to 80 grams in the pre-pregnant stage during the pregnancy it will go like a thousand grams at that term then this uh, uh, uterus has to shrink and it can has uh, it has to come as a pre-pregnant state involute as a pre-pregnant state so this we have to measured by finger method or inch tape method so immediately after the delivery so if you see uh, from the symphysis pubis our fundal can be measured and if you uh, measured with the inch tape that will be of a 17 uh, uh, centimeter from the symphysis pubis then within uh, 24 hours uh, it can come at the level of the umbilicus then next within the week if you see 7 centimeter from the symphysis pubis after 10 days it will go in, inside the pelvic organ pelvic cavity and if you see uh, each day uh, 1 centimeter will be uh, dropped down uh, we can uh, calculate by the uh, fundal uh, height measurement or the finger birth method also so this is known as the involution involution of uterus is very much important so when there is a involution sub involution any clots are coming bleeding is coming any pph is there all we can assess from the uterus uterus any tenderness is there and uh, if you see the abdominal uh, cesarean mother cesare this is or the normal cesarean mother we can see the cesarean scar uh, any incision is there how the cesarean scar is there whether it is clean uh, uh, any redness is there ecchymosis is there any discharge is there approximation of wound is there any dressing they have cut we can measure the abdominal circumference also so that comes under the uh, uterus uh, uterus uh, assessment uh, so we have discussed about uh, breast then next one is uterus then next uh, b is uh, bladder so if you see the bladder empty is very much essential if the bladder is not empty uh, what happen uh, the involution of uterus also will be affected the mother will be very much uh, discomfort and we can advise the mother uh, go for emptying the bladder if she is having sometimes cesarean section episiotomy perineal tear repair and all uh, fear of uh, urinating uh, so uh, we can uh, uh, see the women uh, give up uh, supportive measures and uh, uh, go an ampulation and uh, make the women uh, for urination very difficult means catheterization can be done so urine output is very much essential during the postpartum uh, period so we have to monitor the urine output also if the urine output is good uh, the mother health postnatal mother health is good also and uh, if you see uh, uh, if the urine is uh, coming out properly only uh, she can go with the involution of uterus also that we can advise the women and uh, uh, she having any pain dysuria so that we can monitor and we can uh, give some health measures then uh, third one is uh, bowel bowel care also very much important the women more prone for getting constipation in the postnatal period so we we can uh, ask the women how is the bowel pattern uh, how she is emptying the bowel having any uh, problem of uh, 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 constipation is there then uh, we can increase the food if she is having a uh, uh, food items or uh, fishes can be added vegetables can be added drinks lots of fluid and the bowel peristaltic movement can be assessed uh, in the bowel and uh, if she have uh, uh, any other uh, complaints like uh, hemorrhoids hemorrhoids any bleeding in the rectum can be assessed and uh, uh, like this problem is there uh, we can uh, uh, clearly uh, give an advice for the women so next one is uh, uh, bladder uh, bowel the next one is uh, lochia lochia is uh, very much important so lochia if you see this is the first uh, discharge that uh, uh, comes in the postnatal period through the vagina vaginal discharge so if you see there are uh, three types of uh, lochia is there lochia rubra lochia serosa lochia alba lochia rubra uh, that will uh, happen in uh, first to one to four days lochia serosa five to uh, nine days uh, then next lochia alba 10 to 14 days so this is the discharge so lochia if you see uh, this uh, consists of vernis caseosa linea um, um, uh, alba the vernis caseosa will be there uh, deciduous uh, cells will be there maternal cells will be there uh, bacterial uh, cells will be there blood clots will be there as a present of blood clot this uh, lochia rubra will be red in color so if you see lochia uh, serosa the rbc uh, amount will be less as a result uh, here uh, they will go with the pinkish or brownish in 
color later uh, lochia alba they will go with white color so these are the uh, discharge that is a local discharge this has to be monitored uh, whether a normal amount will be 250 ml so if the discharge is more so we can see the how the pad is used by the mother if the discharge is uh, uh, more according to the pad concentrations uh, in 15 minutes 30 minutes uh, uh, if uh, any dark uh, uh, red uh, vaginal brisk bleeding is there that is indication of uh, postpartum hemorrhage so next uh, another one is uh, mm, episiotomy so episiotomy is uh, very much important along with the perineum so episiotomy uh, uh, if you see uh, here uh, reda scale has to be assessed reda scale redness ecchymosis uh, uh, erythematous discharges and approximation of the wound in the episiotomy can be uh, seen and the women we can advise make the perineal AJ very much clean and she can go with uh, switch bath in order to healing the episiotomy wound and uh, uh, she can go with early ambulations also that is the walking that will improve the circulation and improve the healing effect of the episiotomy and we can find out the uh, perineal region any other uh, discharge foul smellings or anything is there that can be identified uh, in the perineal perineal edema varicosities can be identified uh, then next one is uh, l l l indicate uh, uh, h h indicates the homan sign what is meant by homan sign uh, this is the uh, to identify the thromboembolism uh, is present that is after the uh, vaginal delivery or the mostly risk in the cesarean delivery. So here we can uh, go with uh, uh, dorsiflexion of the foot and uh, we can ask uh, any pain in the cough muscles. If pain in the cough muscles that is indicates the uh, thromboembolism, deep vein thrombosis present or not and there is a risk for getting pulmonary embolism also any shortness of breath is there. Uh, uh, we can identify from the women. So here uh, closely monitor and any risk is there intimate to the obstetrician or the physician. And uh, next one is uh, emotional status. Emotional status is also very much important. The women uh, uh, is a transition phase. Uh, from uh, uh, pregnancy to the puparium she has to take care of the children she has to take the uh, physical and psychological changes what is happen uh, inside uh, during the postnatal period so some women there is uh, if there is having a history or if there is having their uh, uh, any uh, uh, marital or uh, uh, family problems there is uh, or hormonal changes of uh, estrogens uh, there is more risk for getting some uh, uh, disturbances some uh, postpartum emotional changes they can go with diseases like postpartum uh, depression postpartum blues uh, postpartum psychosis postpartum blues much not risk during the puparium but postpartum depression and postpartum psychosis they can go with uh, so many uh, complications so we have to uh, find out how the woman is woman how she is taking care of the baby how she is feeding the baby uh, she is uh, having interaction with the baby if she is isolated she is not taking care of herself not taking care of the baby then uh, the baby can uh, then we can find out she is having some psychological problem so emotionally family support involvement of the husband everything can be given uh, during the postpartum period and we can uh, uh, make a uh, good uh, psychological uh, uh, happiness for the puparium period so another measures like general assessment uh, temperature checking bp checking to find out any hypertension any symptoms of convulsions uh, uh, any problems of uh, paleness anemia jaundice uh, uh, any uh, pph vaginal bleeding shock symptoms is there uh, uh, any other uh, cardiovascular problems uh, uh, any other medical illness of the women, so any other infection, septicemia. So these all uh, uh, we can assess in the uh, general uh, examinations uh, in the women. So this is the mainly comes under the postnatal examination. Postnatal examination mainly concentrate on the uh, breast. The next one is uh, uterus, bowel, bladder. Uh, the next uh, episiotomy, hormone sign and emotional status of the women. So uh, today class uh, uh, I have taken about the postnatal uh, assessment uh, and I am signing off. Uh, so next video we will meet with another topic.